looks like someone just plopped down the Empire State Building in the middle of Louisiana. Hey y'all, Carpetbagger here, coming to you live from the south, more specifically Baton Rouge, Louisiana, and check this out, this massive building, this looks like a freaking palace, this is actually the tallest building in Louisiana and the tallest state capital in the United States, this is Louisiana state capital, it's an epic building a palace fit for a king and a king did live here a man known as Huey Long also known as the Kingfish he was the governor of Louisiana an insanely popular governor he won the hearts and mind of all the people of Louisiana and in the 1940s he was set to run for president and the platform that he ran on was very, very unique. What he stated was, his motto was, every man a king. And his idea was the purest form of socialism, that he believed that once you reached a million dollars, once you had a million dollars worth of wealth, then any assets you had over that would be seized by the government and redistributed amongst the rest of the people of the United States. He felt that no one had a right to have more money than to live the rest of their lives and for their children to live the rest of their lives. He felt that Remember, an analogy he used was that it's like someone going to a barbecue and taking all the pork for themselves instead of sharing it with uh, the rest of the people at the barbecue. So very interesting. I don't think that philosophy would go very far today, but check this out. This is a statue of the man himself, a towering statue facing a towering building over there, Huey Long. And this monument's amazing too. You can actually see the Capitol building itself is built into the monument and he's standing over top it like King Kong with his hand rested on the Capitol building. And actually, Huey Long is with us right now because he is buried right there underneath this monument. He lived in this building. His dead body is right there. And he actually was killed in this very building. One thing I forgot to mention is that while Huey Long was massively popular, massively beloved, and massively powerful, he was also massively corrupt. He was notorious for his corruption and skimming money out of the government. Kind of funny when you see how grand this building was. It seems like he wanted everything bigger and grander. Very impressive. like little symbols on there. Now Huey Long was shot right in this hallway, right at the spot that I am standing. And check this out. That is a bullet hole from the assassination of Huey Long. And I am jamming my finger in it. A display right here about Huey Long and it's an incredibly graphic portrayal of the assassination. But this is the poor assassin right here with about a million bullet holes in his body. Now this is the actual Senate chamber for the state capitol in Louisiana. Check that out. And there was actually another horrific act of violence here in the 70s. A uh, they passed a law saying that you did not have to belong to a union to work. And a suitcase bomb was snuck into this room in an attempt to 
cause an explosion here in the state senate. And there's actually a chunk of wood or a pencil, some sort of object lodged in the ceiling from that explosion. Let's see if I can use your. Oh wow! There's actually a second yeah, just... piece of wood lodged up there in the top of that pedestal. Let's see if I can get that. That's a. Uh... I don't want to take class of Paris. I mean, it's not. This elevator has got like portraits engraved in it. This place is really magnificent. It's an absolutely fascinating history here in the state capitol. The death place, the final resting place, and where Huey P. Long spent the majority of his life. Appreciate you guys watching.